To probe or not to probe, that is the question. So some people are advocating probing uh, with intense pulse light because there's meibomian gland fibrosis. So how do we see meibomian gland fibrosis? Well, this is where the cornea confocal comes in because we could actually do confocals onto the meibomian glands to see. Now this is a confocal that I did on a patient with severe dry eye disease. And as you could see here, this is an open gland. There's no fibrosis. And what I'm finding is there's few, very few patients that have fibrosing uh, and scarring of their meibomian glands. The other question is if you probe uh, one of these, what are you doing with all those thick secretions that are coming out of that gland? You're just actually pushing them further down uh, into the gland. The other thing with probing is, say you probe and you actually transect this gland. So now you have a non-fibrose gland that you're transecting and actually causing a clot. And this could cause scar tissue uh, where that secretion can't come out. So say you uh, do IPL, what I'm finding with intense pulse light, is if you have a gland that is a little bit narrow, once you start getting the cells working normally, this gland will open up and you can get uh, normal secretions coming out of them. So the best treatment for meibomian gland dysfunction is not shoving a probe uh, in here, which has been shown with studies uh, not to be an effective way of treating signs and symptoms, but using light like intense pulse light and low level light to stimulate this gland uh, to work better. The confocal microscopy works for showing corneal nerves, but it can also work for showing uh, the meibomian glands.